Hi, I'm Conan, and this is my wife, Catherine. In early April, we started a frame-off renovation of our 1968 Playmore Model 140 camper with the goal of completing the exterior in eight weeks. With the help of my parents, Connie and Dave, and our little helper, Simon, we're trying to turn this trailer trash into treasure one project at a time. Can we do it? That took a long time. I don't recommend it. Follow along to find out. Okay, so after yesterday, uh, we got the top roof skin on and we decided it looked so pretty being stripped down. We're going to try a couple of things to see if we can clean up some of the paint that's on the sides of this as well. So I'm going to try the wire wheel on my grinder first and see what that does. I'm a little skeptical it's going to do much, but uh, if that doesn't work out, then we'll move on to the stripper, because the stripper worked real well. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So this is the flap wheel that we were using on the roof, which we had to use to get through that thick, nasty stuff that was painted on there. There was just, you know, using stripper on that, we would have been there you know days and gone through gallons of strippers so take this off and we're gonna put this wire wheel on one thing you want to be careful of with wire wheels is that you get one that can handle the speed of your grinder um, because these little metal bits will fly off of there as you're using it. So it's recommended to use eye and hand protection when operating one of these and uh, be careful with it. It's easy to cut yourself. see that did take off some of that loose paint that was there but I sort of wonder is that any faster than using the stripper is it any better I mean we didn't get everything off of there but we got quite a bit I think if the whole thing were flat like this we could probably use the wire wheel and take care of it but I don't think it's gonna work on the other parts so um, let's see what happens when we put some stripper on it Okay, so stripper is really nasty. Wear your gloves. Once again, we're using our favorite aircraft remover. Since this is all now vertical, I'm going to pour it into a little plastic container. And I'm going to use my brush to brush it on. And uh, we'll see how it does on this corrugated stuff.
Well, again, not perfectly clean, but it actually worked, whereas the wire wheel didn't work at all on that. I'm gonna try some stripper on this uh, section down here and see what, see how well that works. Well, there's your, there's your answer. I'd say the stripper definitely leaves a better surface. Two sides finished, two to go. But you can stand back and get a good feel for how it will look not camouflaged and it looks pretty sharp. I mean, I think it looks pretty sharp. Some of you might be thinking, oh my God, that still looks terrible. And if you think that, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's see where it goes. All right, so today's a bit rainy and they're working on the street in front of my house, so it's probably a little noisy, but we're doing a little bushcraft. <laughs> so we're tarped up and it's gonna be a little blue, but um, should be able to get some work done. Uh, even if it continues to, to sprinkle on us like it has been. I just used my tarp to make uh, a little cover. So the idea for today is to work on stripping the paint off of this side. It's not that exciting, but uh, it's uh, this is the last side to do. Front's all nice and clean. And we just got to make the side look the same. I guess we'll get to it. So I'm putting a piece of tape next to anywhere that I know there's a hole that needs to be patched with some Bondo. And some of these things like this, we may wind up putting something back there, we may not. But if we don't, I'm going to put an aluminum patch panel over it. 
things where there's just like a little puncture, that's just Bondo. Yep, there's one. There. Okay, so Bondo body filler is used for fixing dents and stuff. You've got a gray part and then you've got a red cream hardener and you mix them together as per the can and you have to take your little wiper and you wipe it into what you're trying to fix. Of course if it sticks out you need to knock it in a little bit so that you can actually fill it with the Bondo. Then it dries pretty quickly and you can sand it smooth. If you're watching me do this and you're like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing, just keep it to yourself. I'm going to try to not pull out too much. Then, like I said, you mix the two together. And if you've done this enough, you can kind of tell by color whether you've got enough of the two together, but it's kind of a reddish. And that's probably mixed together red enough. So that's really sloppy. Uh, <laughs> that's, why, that's why you do one in an inconspicuous location first. So then I'm going to let that dry a little bit and then I'm going to try to cut it, um, cut it down a little bit with a better scraper than this and then we'll sand it the rest of the way smooth. There's the magic. Let's go get this baby. Who's that? It's Simon. Do you have a good nap? No. <laughs> Thank you. So here we are just a few minutes later. We're going to see if we can scrape on it just a little bit to kind of get rid of some of that excess that we had. Okay, let's see what some sanding does. Okay, I'll probably add a little more filler there. Uh, I'll probably do one of the other ones and then I'll come back and add a little bit more there and come back and get it. That's how you do it. Got my holes that needed filled, filled, um, there, up there. So it's time to uh, tarp it up again for another night of potential rain. And uh, we'll get back to it hopefully soon. And we'll put the roof rail on. So that'll be exciting. Anyway. Till next time. Two, three, blast off! Um, roof rail 
on the camper, which will tie it together. And? And it's Catherine's mom, Connie's birthday. Well, this isn't the right shape at all. JK, JK. So it's gonna overlap like that. That's pretty good. And uh, you just screw part of it in and then bend it to the next screw hole and so on and so forth. Yeah. So we got this roof rail locally at uh, just one of our local trailer supply companies, but it's pretty common stuff. I imagine you can get it about any RV supply place. So you might shop around if you're looking for this stuff. And there are places online where you can order it, but it comes in 14 foot lengths. So your local FedEx guy is not going to be delivering it to you. I don't think. So I'm going to put this on there as best I can. Now these are not touching each other. It's not like you put a layer on the camper and then a layer on the roof rail and you put them against each other. It's yeah, yeah. This is going on the side, whereas the one I put on there is going to go on the top. Not too difficult. Um, Dave's gonna bring up his hammer drill and we're gonna torque these down because my little bitty drill didn't quite cut it. Uh, but once they're torqued down nice and tightly we'll go back and cut the uh, butyl tape that's squeezed out of the seam and it'll look nice and cleaned up. Then I think it's time to prime and paint. So that's exciting stuff. See you next time. Happy birthday to you, Bucketo! Yeah, looks cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.